Every day, us kids are faced with lots of information about what's good and bad for us. My dad always tells me that if I don't go to bed early, I will stop growing. And my granny always tells me I should eat my green vegetables if I want to grow up big and strong. Sometimes I read stuff or hear things and I wonder if they are true. Some people call these stories fake news and sometimes I'm not sure what to believe. Every day we have to make choices and sometimes we're not always sure what we should choose. Is it better for me to eat a chocolate bar or an apple on my lunch break? Would you be surprised to know that scientists also have these questions? Scientists use something called a randomized controlled trial to help them get information that we can trust. We can then use this information or evidence to help us make the best choice. Way back in 1747, a brilliant man called James Lind invented the randomized controlled trial. He wondered why sailors in the British Navy were sick from a disease called scurvy. Scurvy is a disease caused by the lack of vitamin C and it's not nice. It can give you pain in your arms and legs, swelling and cause your gums to bleed. You can feel really tired and your teeth can even fall out. James Lind divided 12 sailors, all suffering from scurvy, into six pairs. He gave each pair of sailors something to eat along with their usual food. Some were given cider, others seawater, others a mixture of garlic, mustard and horseradish. Others were given spoonfuls of vinegar and the last pair were given oranges and lemons. He found out that sailors who ate oranges and lemons got better more quickly. We now know this is because oranges have vitamin C, which prevents this disease. James Lind had discovered a way to fairly test the impact of vitamin C on the disease scurvy. A team of researchers in NUI Galway want to help us all understand what randomized trials are and more importantly how we can use them to answer important questions. Start. Schools teaching awareness of randomized trials is an annual competition organized by NUI Galway and our school has decided to enter. This challenge is to create our very own randomized trial in the classroom, just like James Lind did. We are going to see if 15 minutes of skipping every morning helps us pay more attention in class that day, compared to 15 minutes of reading a book. We're really excited to do our own trial because we'd love to see if there really will be any difference. Our teacher is hoping it will. The START website is really helpful and has all of the information we will need to do our trial. The top three classes are invited to NUI Galway for a jam-packed day with animals and explosions. Oh, and of course, science and research. We're really hoping we get to go. If you're interested in taking part, please talk to your teachers and ask them to check out www.startcompetition.com for more information.